Okay, so what is going on people? I'm trying to get this video knocked out. I've, wanted, I've been looking forward to this one for a while, right? Because it's been so long. But anyway, so I'm wanting to get this knocked out, maybe even uploaded and all that stuff before I do the whole recap thing, right? So I got a couple hours, but I at least want to get it out of the way because I feel like after that, I'm not going to feel like doing too much else, you know, because then WrestleMania is going to be a little bit later, you know, day two or whatever, which... Again, still after having plans to go there for so long and then it being all crushed and shattered and blown up, basically, all the plans we had, it kind of sucks. It does, you know? But nobody's falling through with anything right now, so I guess, you know, I'm not the only one that's plans got thrown off, so I can't complain a whole lot, but I still will just a little bit. But anyway, so I haven't done one of these quarterly pickup videos in a while. And I remember when I was going into the one back in, what was that? I guess it'd be October, right? Yeah, the one that I was doing in October, I was like, man, this is not going to happen for a while, right? And so just been kind of like counting down, you know, a little, little bit of a time bomb sort of thing, like Hiromu Takahashi, if you will, waiting for it to happen, waiting to be able to jump back into these. Because it's kind of cool to do a little recap of all the crap that I've picked up over the last three months. So here we are doing that. So I don't think I have anything else to say um, since this will be going on more likely after the recap. There's no reason to plug that. But I will say go back and watch it if you didn't watch it, even though it technically hasn't happened yet. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so here we go. Here we go. Starting with this, right? Because these aren't in any, aren't in any particular order. I'm just going to I grabbed them all off the shelf. Luckily, I was able to go through last week and get everything kind of organized in a way that made sense. So today, when I had to look at my past videos and just see what all I picked up, it was so much easier than it would have been last week. Very organized over there. Anyways, this right here, the Volt Air Max 90, right? The one that they did in the original styling and all, and all that good stuff. Still not a huge fan of this box, honestly, but... You know, it, Nike's going to do what Nike's going to do. And there's nothing anybody can do about that. But I do like the shoes a fair amount, though. I was hoping I would have been able to get some other colors. Well, a particular other color. But it didn't really play out in my favor. I wanted that turquoise one, you know? It looked pretty good. But they do have an orange pair coming up. And the, that pair might be worth having, too. Next up, we have A350. This is the Desert Sage. Desert Sage, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe you guys remember that one. Yeah, this was, in my opinion, it's one of the better ones. It's very similar to that Espinel Ultra Boost that I picked up a while ago. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that was unnecessary. The Khaki and Olive Cargo, Trace Cargo pair. But obviously it's a Yeezy, so it's expensive and it has to be better, right? Anyways, moving on, moving on. The Air Hirachi, right? This was done in the Air Max colorway. So these right here, there you go. This was part of the Chapter 1 pack. The Chapter 2 pack is actually out. Well, I know the Hirachi is out because I saw it on Finish Line. So hopefully that makes its way into my collection relatively soon. I'm in no big rush, you know what I'm saying? Like if I get it, great. If I don't, that's fine too. But I do like Hirachis, so maybe I'll do a Hirachi collection video. I don't know. I think I got enough to make it worth doing. You know, not like a whole bunch, like a like my Yeezys. I think those outnumber them, but I got a decent amount. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Speaking of which, before I go getting all into this, one thing that I'm going to ask you guys to do, if you could for me, please comment down below. Out of all the shoes that I'm showing here, I don't want to know your favorite because every everybody always talks about the favorite. Talk about the one that I sh that you would not have picked up. The one that should have just been left in the warehouse or on the shelves or wherever else, just not here. Because that, that kind of interests me, right? I have some ideas of what a lot of you are going to say, but, you know, curiosity. That's what it's all about here. So, here we go. Next up, we got this. The Nike React Presto in the Tiger Stripe colorway. Another premium model, much like that leafy pair that I had a while ago. These, I remember ordering these from, I think it was Nordstrom, 
because they didn't really, they had just come out, so they weren't really everywhere at the time. So I made my order through Nordstrom, and then the next day I was returning something at Foot Action, and I saw these, and I was like, you know what? I can get a discount on these right now and walk out of the store with them right now. So that's what happened. And it was, it probably saved me a good, like, you know, $20, $25, something like that. Not an amazing amount of money, but it's $20 or $25, right? You know? So that's cool. And then I sent the Norse Compare back, got the refund, all that good stuff. Well, what do you know? What do you know? The next React Presto Premium, right here, the Tiger, not the Tiger, the Pistachio Forest or or excuse me, potassium frost, pistachio frost, or forest pear. Right here, whatever you want to call them. Now, I lived in New Mexico for a while, and like, apparently they're really big on pistachios. Like, people are like, oh, do you ever go to the pistachio thing? Like, no, I do not care at all about that. I, mean, I don't even like, yeah, it's like, you guys, that's it? If you're from New Mexico, like, I'm not trying to like down talk on your state or whatever, but you guys got some improvements to make, okay? I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, moving right along, we got this right here, no box, because this is one of those shoes that I would wear regularly, so that means it stays out on my shoe racks over there. So I can just get right to them, like a lot of my certain other running shoes, you know, just grab them and go. So this right here, my first Ultra Boost S and L, standing for suede and leather. A lot of people were into this particular shoe as far as like view counts go because it was up there. And I'm going to say that a lot of that had to do with the fact that they were on a huge sale and was very publicized for, for whatever reason. Everywhere I went like on Twitter, it's like, go on over to Finish Line, check out these Ultra Boost SNLs for only $80. I'm like, hmm. So yeah, thank you to everybody who promoted that because when people were looking for reviews, a lot of them, not maybe not all of them, a lot of them found mine. So that's pretty all right. What is this? What is this? This is the, oh, this must be that Yesheya company. I was just talking to DV Kicks about this, who will be on the show later today, which will likely have already happened by the time you see this. But um, I was talking to him about this because I saw these online recently. Someone was like, yeah, blah, blah, Yesheya. And I was like, when does that happen? Or did that happen already? But these Yeezys coming out so often and looking so similar, it's hard to really remember what happened when or even tell the difference. Like, I mean, to me, again, this is basically a static with a slightly colored, discolored midsole. And yeah, like, Oh, well, whatever. It's, I don't even remember those. It, that is the, that's the point that I was going to make there. Like, they came out, I bought them, I reviewed them, I put them in the, not in the closet, in that other room over there, and, well, that's where they will go to die, I guess, until they actually get warm, whenever that happens. Next up, this would be the Air Max 90, right? No, yeah. The undefeated Air Max 90. This right here was, wasn't this actually my first purchase of the year, I think? Might have been, might have been. But anyway, so this right here, the undefeated Air Max 90. These I was really looking forward to. So that's pretty cool to have these in the collection. Very happy about that. They got a nice little, they have some very nice suede on, and not suede, very nice leather on here. Very nice, like one of the nicer pairs of shoes that I have overall. I was expecting them to be harder to get, but they were not. So there's that. It's like I just walked over to the site, tried to put an order in, it's like, error. And I'm like, hmm. So I oh, closed it, reopened it. It's like, order confirmed. Like, oh, you don't say. Next up, the Nike by you, right? So with that fancy paper in here, you can't really see that, can you? But anyways, trust me, it's fancy. If you want a closer look, I assume I gave a closer look in the review, and that link will be somewhere. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of links to put in here for all this stuff, so. But you know where it is, because you're on the channel already, so you just gotta kinda click some somewhere on here, and it'll show you my other videos. Anyways, so looking at these here, again, this was part of a giveaway sort of deal that I did last year. Somebody walked away with 
Well, I was going to give out a $25 gift card to Nike because that's generally what I do with my giveaways, but this guy lived somewhere in Europe. So he's, he's like, yeah, I live here. So I'm like, okay, so they use euros there, quick conversion thing, and then I just send him some money through PayPal or something. Yeah, I just call it a day. But anyway, that's that. That's that. My first ever Nike Buy You. So that was a pretty cool purchase. It actually made, just barely made the cut for my top purchases of, or top five purchases or something of 20, 2020 or whatever. I didn't know. I put it in some kind of challenge video recently. Because I remember, whatever it was, there's a video about it. I don't remember the details. I just know that I, that was one of them. Some about favorite shoes. That's what it was. Favorite shoes, 2020. So here we go. This is the other Ultra Boost S and L. This one in that trace cargo and khaki colorway. So, in a lot of ways, I like this one more. It's very similar to that Desert Sage pair of Yeezys that I pulled out a minute ago, and I don't. I never did a video online or whatever, but I did post a handful of pictures on the leg ram to show off what I saw as a lot of similarities. So if you want to see those side by side and you happen to have access to the internet, go on over to Instagram.com and look for me, same username as is over here, obviously. Or if you don't want to do too much work, there's always a link in the description. You can just go ahead and click that. Or maybe you have to copy and paste, I'm not sure. Either way, go figure it out. Next up, we have something in a Nike box. Okay, this is the Air Max 1 Premium Retro in the Olive Curry colorway. Let's get that thing out of the way. So there you go. There you have this. Now, a lot of people say that this is not the best color of the pack of the three, and I will not disagree with that. But I will say that they possibly have the best quality. I haven't pulled out the other pairs lately, but... This pair is pretty solid, right? It's really good. So, man, I was hoping to break out more of my Air Maxes last month, but things took a weird turn, as a lot of you know. Speaking of Air Maxes, here's a, well, it's a Vapor Max. It's pretty much the same. This right here is the Vapor Max Run Utility in Amarillo and Anthracite, I want to say. So, Amarillo being Spanish for yellow. I learned that recently. You would think I would have learned that while I was in New Mexico. I did not. I did not learn much of anything there. The only Spanish that I picked up was back in seventh grade. Anyways, so this right here, one of my favorite shoes to have in the collection only because I think it's very beneficial to anyone and everyone to have something that you can wear in any weather, right? Because maybe it's raining and you don't want to wear certain shoes out. These are good for that, right? Maybe it's a little snow and you don't want to wear certain shoes out. These are good for that, right? It just works out pretty well to have a couple of these in the inventory, so I do. Let's get those out there so they're not too in the way. All right. I don't like that box being there. First. All right. Next up, speaking of things for, you know, just wearing like cooler weather and whatnot, I guess. Because those are well insulated these right here maybe you remember these this is a this i think this is my yeah this is my only corduroy shoe the corduroy vans something or other these are part of the ultra cush line <clears throat> so i believe they have a little more arch support in them i think that's what the thing is i forget exactly what the differences are between all the vans hopefully one day i'll get to do some sort of comparison and really be able to talk intelligently about these until then, I can only go by the looks and all that good stuff. So when I look at this, I see a color on the outside in, in burgundy that I am a huge fan of. And I see corduroy, which I'm also a huge fan of. And then on the inside, you can't quite see it unless you really look at that review I did. You got some wool on the inside. Nice touch all around. So that is why these are here. Let's go ahead and put these back in the box and get moving on to the next shoe. Trying to get through this relatively quickly, but not really rush through it at the same time. So, yet another pair of Vans. This is the tie-dye, also the Mysterioso. I'm not sure the exact name, how why it's written the way it is. But either way, I got these. I got these a while ago, but I just now was able to review them because they were at mom's house and all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> I'm glad to have them though because I was able to get them. 
I think they, I won't say they're completely sold out everywhere, but Foot Locker had a sale on them for like $40, and I was able to get like $10 off of that, more or less. So, since they were kind of dwindling away on the sizes, I'm glad I got in when I did. You know, I debated it for like a week or two, but in the end, I pulled the trigger. And then yet another pair of bands, the last pair of bands for this little video here. Right here, the Indigo Checkerboard. Right, so this one, nothing fancy, right? It's just a color that I like. I mean, there's a million and one checkerboards. If you don't have a pair of bands and you're considering it, I would say go with this particular model only because you can find them in any color you like. I forget who I was talking to recently and where it was, but somebody was saying, hey, he's like, what do you think I should get for these? And, you know, I think it was Air Max, I want to say it was Air Max Pluses. And I'm like, dude, like, Whatever color you like, they come in that color. So just get that pair. He's like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, that makes sense. So, moving on. All right, next up we got a couple pairs of slides here. Let's go ahead and open this box up, see what's going on in here. This one is, okay, this is one of the old style, like I wear all the time, the Adelette Cloud Foams. These things are super cushiony right here, very cushiony. At first, I was kind of regretting that the slide, the 90 slides, Air Max 90 slides, didn't feel the same way. But as I started to wear them more, I realized that you know what? the difference is that sure they are firmer, but it's kind of like when you go from an older Ultra Boost to a new, newer Ultra Boost or to a Night Jogger. It's a firmer sole, yes, but it's actually more comfortable when you really like after you walk around and you know what this is actually kind of better. So, there's that. Nothing against the cloud foams. I still highly recommend them. And I also recommend the Air Max 90 slides. But those Air Max 90 slides, I only recommend them if you can catch them on sale. I'll say that. And these. I have not worn these really yet. I was supposed to switch on to these once Air Max month ended, but I kind of forgot until today. So this right here, the Ultra Boost, or the uh, Boost slides. I don't even remember how these felt, but if you watch the review I did, I talk about it in there because that's what I talk about in my reviews. So I can slip this thing back in there, kind of sorting, but mostly not. I'll deal with it later. And then, last but not least, actually, you know what? Of the three, it is least, right? Because let's be honest, you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. If something's not great, it's not great. These right here were not great. You may remember that I had two pairs of these. Well, I only have one pair now, and that's this one. But it's the same thing as the review. I just accidentally ordered two pair. So anyways, this right here is another cloud foam, but this is the shower version, right? So they're a little bit different than the previous ones that I just showed you, because when you make something for the shower, they seem like they're a little, little stiffer, and they seem like they are of a different material also. So those... <clears throat> Kind of like a plasticky sort of feel, but it's hard to explain. All I'll say is that while I'm, while they are great for you know water type environments, which I tend to avoid, they're not as good for just being comfortable, and that's what I'm going for. So if you're looking for some slides, cloud foam, the standards, or the or the boost version, which is apparently always on sale. Moving right along, this box here. See, this is the ZX4000 4D, right here. I took these out for a walk, like, right after I did the review, like, an hour after I did the review. I just went to the uh, park up in Newport News, walked around there for, like, an hour or something, just to try to break these things in. These are freaking comfortable, and I'm sure that once I wear them a little more, they'll be even more so. And I'm hoping to get some runs in this week. The weather's looking like it's turning around, so that's all right. But yeah, look at that, right? I know it's not a look that's for everybody, but I mean, for three for a 350 retail to be dropped down to like 120 ships, it was well worth me trying these out to see what I really thought of them. And I gotta say, like, like I've been telling everybody on the comments and stuff like that, like, I'm totally glad I made that jump because those are nice. They are very nice. Move these on over. All right, going back to some old faithfuls again. This right here is the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 in the Shy Cyan and or Shock Cyan colorway, right there, and gray 
three or something like that. Which I don't understand their numbering system with their colors, but they understand it, and I guess that's enough. But either way, I saw this pair. I don't remember where I got these, but I remember I got a really good deal on them. So here they are, right? I think I want to say it was like a Foot Locker, Foot Action type of site. But I'm still waiting to break up that Volt pair, but I'm not going to break that out until I get a pair of the 20s because I want to do that comparison review. Not just for you guys, but also for myself because I like to know things, right? And then I do like to share those things with you guys. So this, this hold tight, it's going to happen. Just, I don't know exactly when yet. Moving right along, the first NMD that I've purchased in some time right here. I had bought these because I was going to break these out over WrestleMania weekend. I happen to have a fair amount of black and yellow shirts, mostly Seth Rollins related. But anyways, I was going to break these out, but now that doesn't matter. So I'll just have to break these out at some other point. But just looking at these, I'm still not a huge fan of the NMD, but they're often cheap. And if they're in the right color, they're not terrible. I just don't recommend them. Pretty much ever. I mean, for what they are, for that price point and everything, I would say, because I want to say they're in like that 120, 120 range. I mean, you can get like an Air Max One for that price. You can get a Presto or a Hirachi for that price. Something more like that. I'd say go that route, you know? Personal thing, of course, but it's up to you what you do with your money. Kind of like how it was up to me if I really wanted to spend a whole buttload of money on these. I didn't want to, but I guess I did because I did. But man, I was not really thrilled about it. So this right here, these right here for $225 though. Like now given that the original 360 and this exact colorway is what got me into shoes, they do have a special place over here in the old heart, but that, $225. I mean, I got a discount. Yeah, sure. Because I, I was not paying full on retail for these. But still. And then seeing them not sell out, that kind of sucks a little bit. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I wanted them. I got them. If I had waited a month, sure, I could have got them for like 175 or 160 whatever they were going for during like those Nike sales. But it's not always about saving money, I guess, because I save enough money given like the other stuff that I buy is often cheap or on sale. So there's that. Now, moving right along. Oh, hey, these. You guys remember these, right? It's a fairly recent review, the 700 Wave Runner, right? Yep. So there's that. Put that back in there, move right along. And down to two more. Down to two more. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. This is the Cinder 350. I did a pretty decent, according to other people, review of these, comparing them to the Black Statics, right? The review, the standard review I did of these is probably no different than most people's, but someone said in the comments of the actual comparison that it was very good and showing up, showing the up close shots and all that good stuff. The one thing that I do wish I had done and didn't think to do until I saw the retro WizKid do it was pull out a Yeezy 350 that was actually black. So I did that on, again, if you go check the whole Instagram thing, you'll see a picture with these, the statics, and the Oreos from 2016, because those are straight up black, like a lot of black. The only other shoe that I had was black was like the Yitch heels and there's too much other stuff going on in there. It's distracting visually. So went with those. But yeah, yeah, these, I do like them though. They're just, I don't know, they're 350s and like they come out so often now that they're, that they have definitely lost their appeal in the sense of like, oh wow, it's something new and exciting and it doesn't happen all the time. Nope, happens all the time now. Like every two weeks, pretty much. I think there's a pair that comes out like next weekend, maybe. I mean, you know, things are never like confirmed until like closer, but you know, sites tend to be often fairly reliable. So let's see what this new last 350 is. Okay, this right here is the Earth. The Earth. I picked. I was able to get these from Finish Line through a raffle of all things, and I remember like weeks ago 
finish line actually saw the picture on Instagram and they're like, oh, hey, that's cool. Can we share your picture? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Never heard from them again. They probably saw the fine print where I was slightly bashing them. And there was like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't share this. Anyways, right here, the 350 in Earth. I haven't seen these in a while and I'm not sure how I feel about them. It's not a bad color. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the, that is pretty much the review of every 350. Like it's not a bad color. I just don't know if I really need it or not. You know, you can apply that to mostly all of them, minus like the the Yeez reels. Those that green pair, that pair was that was something I wanted. Sure. But most of the other ones that have come out lately have been yeah. I don't get that if I can see what it's like in person. I guess I suppose. But anyway, so there we go. We have done it, people. Thank you very much for sticking with me. I do appreciate it. And I don't know how long it took, but it is probably on the... Oh, man, that is, this is a long video. All right, so if you watch this whole thing from end to end, I so appreciate that. I am going to wrap this thing up, though, because it says 25 minutes up there, and that's a lot of minutes. All right, thank you for watching. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope you watched the recap thing, assuming it actually happens, because it should. Until tomorrow, people, because I think I'm going to do a sh very short video, a lot shorter than this one tomorrow. We'll see what happens, though. Don't hold me to it if it doesn't happen. All right, later, people.